ASU embarks on nationwide indefinite strike. Oh boy. So ASU, Academic Staff Union of Universities in Nigeria, have joined the NLC and the TUC nationwide strike as an affiliate labor body in Nigeria. Hey, hey, hey. I tell you, I, I have wish this would go to a full blown nationwide shutdown. Let this APC government know that enough is enough. Okay, as if the ASU, the NLC owner is not battling enough. With ASU joining, everybody should go home. We need to stop this nonsense and all over again. See, the 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 Attorney General of the Federation is trying to rise uh, me. Is trying to say that uh, as I mean, uh, NLC does not have the right to go on strike because of industrial court uh, order. Don't worry, now industrial court you go chop. That is it. Go and support your bad government and stay there. So let's get into the ASUS position as they have just joined the strike. The Academic Statue of Universities ASU has joined other Nigerian workers to fully participate in the indefinite industrial action. So the union in a statement on Sunday, June 2nd, signed by its president, Professor Emmanuel Osodeke directed all its members in various universities to mobilize members under their watch for compliance. So according to Osodeke, NSC has declared indefinite strike action beginning from Monday 3rd, June 2024 as a result of the failure of government to conclude renegotiations of minimum wage for Nigerian workers and reversal of hike in electricity tariff. Our branches are hereby enjoined to join the strike action as an affiliate member of Congress. Consequently, branch chairpersons are to mobilize all members to participate in the strike action. So the Lagos Zone Coordinator of ASU, Professor Adelaja Udukoya, told Nigerian Tribune on Monday that the zone would fully go by the directive of the union, Bagan. So he said the compliance wouldn't be a difficult thing for all the seven universities in the zone and in all other zones to comply with. Meanwhile, the country has been thrown into darkness after electricity workers shut down the, nat the national grid deliberately in compliance with the joint directive of the NLC, Nigerian Labour Congress, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, to down tools on Monday over the new minimum wage issue. So Transmission Company of Nigeria said the workers were driven away from their duty posts while others were beaten and wounded at some power facilities. It added that all its efforts at grid recovery were being frustrated by the unionists. That is it. That is it. Gradually, I want Pengasan and Upen to join in this strike because the problem is not just the NLC. It's not just the civil servant. It's about everybody in Nigeria that can no longer buy fuel, can no longer buy diesel, can no longer buy gari, cannot buy bread, can no longer, um, you know, pay children's school fees, does not have job, and everything is just very bad. So it's not about the organized labor, uh, people that have salary earners from the civil service or from the private sector. It is all about Nigerians. And it's not just about the minimum wage or increment of salary when the exchange rate is useless and when the, the value of the Naira is also useless. So everybody is actually supposed to join this action to be sure. Now in the midst of the fact that there is no fuel, there is not, no money to buy the fuel because of the high uh, uh, fuel price, you are also increasing the electricity tariff. Why is Tinubu wanting to punish Nigeria like this? Eh? I know you said it before the campaign that if he enters, if he had his way, he will withdraw or reduce the purchasing power of the people and tax them the more. Exactly what he said, that video came out and that is exactly what he's doing now. Eh? So I think they need to show him that eh, Nigeria is not Lagos. Nigeria is a big country with stakeholders everywhere and need to be respected. That is what I see here. So with what is happening, it is quite obvious that uh, <laughs> federal government is not going to find this uh, 
funny with Asu joining, and I know that apart from the NLC TUC problem, Asu also has his own problem with federal government that has not been resolved. Because all the agreement that Asu entered the federal government, federal government has failed to implement their own side of everything. And now pushing Asu to the extreme. How can people be working? They're not paid. How can you say they want to assist one strike, no work, no pay? Who made them to go on strike? Why would government for once, you know, uh, at least why would government ever, never ready to implement its own part of agreement or memorandum of understanding all the time? This is actually a very bad one. So with ASU joining, I'm sure children are going to go home because uh, it's go I see this is the show where order sectors will join as well port authority has joined um, uh, airports both local and international airports have joined seaports have joined and i'm sure another that asu has joined i expect doctors nurses and midwives to also join that is it because they are part of nlc and tuc they need to show them everywhere and we have also got in the information now that the national assembly has been blocked nobody goes in and nobody comes out because the workers, the branch of the union there has also blocked everywhere. I think we need to let the government know that enough is enough. We can't continue to tolerate all of this. Nigerians have been blamed for too long for remaining docile, watching unfriendly and inimical government come in and go out at will and getting away with all the evil they're doing against the Nigerian populace. It has to stop. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. So I just hope that NLC, TUC, ASU, and other branch of organized labor in the country will take this to the end and even add more demand to what is happening now. Because, like I said earlier, it is not just the salary, it is not just electricity tariff, tariff, exchange rate is bad, food inflation is bad. Everything has to change. Everything has to return back to where APC met it. Then we we'll start all over again. That is it. So that uh, state of emergency that APC is looking for in River State and uh, and the uh, Kano State, they will get it at nationwide, and then they will see how, whether military will continue to watch or not. So thank you for listening, and let's have a comment over what is happening right now in the country.